Hello nerds. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to dual boot Fedora with Windows. For this, you need an empty USB stick with minimum 4 GB of size. Here's mine and it's empty. Now open any browser and search Fedora. Choose this link. Go to download under workstation. Since we are using Windows, choose Windows beside Fedora Media Writer. Open the file and install as shown in the video. Next open Fedora Media Writer choose download automatically. Choose official editions. Now make sure the drive is your preferred USB and click download and write. Wait until it gets downloaded and the Fedora image is written to the ISO automatically which allows us to boot into Fedora Linux with the help of USB for the installation purpose. Fedora is very easy to install as there are only three steps to install the operating system after booting into it. Let's wait until the USB is written. Now it's finished. And the next step is to free up some space to install Fedora on your hard disk or SSD. For this, you need to search for create and format hard disk. Choose this option. Identify your disk. In my case, it is disk 0 with 256 GB of size. Choose the bigger block and right click then choose shrink volume and enter the size you want to allocate for Fedora. In my case, I want to allocate 128 GB. So, I multiplied 128 with 1024 and entered that value on the amount of space to shrink an MB. Click shrink. Now, we have 128 GB free space to install Fedora.
Shut down the PC. Again, turn on and go to BIOS. In my case, to access BIOS I need to press F2 when booting. Now, under security section make sure that the secure boot is disabled. And I am changing boot sequence and setting my SanDisk drive to boot first. Save and exit. BIOS differs from PC to PC according to the manufacturer. Now, choose Test This Media and start Fedora which is the default option. Now, our USB will be tested for any errors. If there are no errors, we will get an OK message, which confirms that we can use this USB to boot into Fedora. Now, we are booting into Fedora. Choose install to hard drive. Choose language and continue. Choose installation destination and our drive is already selected by default so, click done. Next inside time and date, choose your location and click done. and then begin installation. Click finish installation and shut down. Again, turn on the PC and you can find Fedora and Windows options. This is where you can choose the operating system to boot. Choose the first option to boot into Fedora.
Choose Start Setup. Connect your network or you can skip. Choose Next. Enable third-party repositories for additional software availability like Google Chrome, and then click Next. Choose your preferred username. Set a password. Finally, you're done and good to go. Stay tuned for part two.